Emotep is one of the world's most famous ancient doctor, architect, high priest, scribe, astrologer, and vizier to the king 2,000 years before the father of medicine, Hippocrates, was even thought of. The grandfather of medicine was actually Imhotep. As the vizier to the king, I think I'm saying that right. Or, okay, we could call him supervisor because he supervised everything around the land. He would advise the king in religious and practical matters. He controlled the department of the judiciary, the treasury, war, agriculture, and the general executive. One of the king's statues uh, inscribes Imhotep's title as Chancellor of the King of Lower Egypt, the first one under the king, the administrator of the great mansion, the hereditary noble, chief sculptor, chief carpenter, and although very little details of his life, uh, uh, although very little details of his life has survived, there are many statues and statuettes that have been found of Imhotep. Some of these statues show him as an ordinary man and others as a wise man. He's best known for his writing and medicinal texts, even though he's a poet as well. Um, he's believed to be the author of Edwin Smith Papyrus. It has more than 90 terms of the body, 48 injuries that are described. He's also known for finding the School of Medicine, and this school has actually been famous for 2,000 years. Edwin Smith Papyrus, why is it called Edwin Smith Papyrus if Imhotep is the author? Okay, so Edwin Smith, of course, found the papyrus and had to put his name on it, because I guess that's what we do. We find things, we just put our names on it, even though it doesn't belong to us, it's not our origin. No, no. Hate. I ain't had it hating on Edwin Smith. No hate, Edwin Smith. You can find all this information on BBC History. I have all of the descriptions below of where I found my information, the documentaries I've been watching, and all this information I want to share with you on Imhotep and Ancient Egypt as well. Also, this really cool YouTube film on the Step Pyramid. Also, shout out to all everybody else on YouTube doing videos of African American history. Definitely check out their channels, I'll put it down below. The more people sharing history on Africa, ancient Egypt, the better. Because it's not just black history, but it's everybody's history. So do your research. Tell me what research you would like me to do, because I'm learning more. If there's anything that you think that I should look up, or that I should know about, things that I should know about ancient Africa, black history, just history in general, tell me, I'll look it up. Hopefully I could do a YouTube video on it as well. Learn and then we share and we teach. We learn and we teach. We learn and we teach.